We're still going to use the big X method to factor, but the shortcut is going to happen because we notice that the numbers in front and the number at the back are perfect squares. One times one is one and four times four is 16. We go ahead and start the factoring the same way. We're gonna grab the numbers on the outside, one and 16, multiply them together and write it up here. So one times 16 is 16. We're gonna take the number in the middle, drop that straight down. So I have eight. We're trying to think of two numbers that when we multiply them together, we get 16 and when we add them, we get eight. So coming off to the side, we always grab the number up top here and just set it off to the side, the positive version of it. So 16, but when I go to list, I can skip my normal process. Normally, I would say one times 16, and then I would do two times eight and keep going. But if this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square, I'm gonna skip this and just say, well, the square root of 16 is four. And so four times four is 16. And these numbers are gonna help me get back to here without listing all the extras. So four multiplied by four is 16. Four plus four is eight. So the numbers I'm gonna put here are four and four. And then over A, so over one, over one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just, whoops, make that one stand out here. Okay, then we're ready to factor. So the number in front goes here, and the number up top goes here. So I have one V plus four and one V plus four. What it's going to ask you to do is write this in simplest form. And since they're identical, instead of saying V plus four times V plus four, we're going to say V plus four quantity squared. Okay. So then let's do one more with some numbers that are just a little bit bigger. So let's say my original is 4u squared minus 36u plus 81. If you notice right away that the number, actually, sorry, just a second here. If you no notice right away that the number in the front and the number in the back are both perfect squares, two times two is four, nine times nine is 81, then the brainstorming is gonna go a lot faster. But we're starting off the same. We're grabbing the numbers on the outside and multiplying them together. So four multiplied by 81, and we have 324 and then take the number in the middle, drop that straight down. So that's negative 36. We're trying to think of two numbers that multiply together to get 324 and add up to negative 36. In general, we would take the number up top and start brainstorming. One times 324, and then we'd go on to two times something and we'd keep listing. It's going to take quite a while since it's a bigger number to list all of them and then start thinking about numbers that multiply to get this and add up to this. So the shortcut here is since these are perfect squares, I'm going to take the square root of 324 and I get 18 times 18. And now I'm gonna come over and think about that. If two numbers multiply to get a positive 324, those numbers are either both positive or both negative. If they add up to negative 36, I now know they're both negative. And what do you know? It's going to be negative 18 and negative 18. All right, then over A, and the A here is four, 
So I'm gonna put the negative 18s over four, simplify. These are both even. So dividing the numerator and denominator by two, I get negative nine over two. We're ready to factor. The bottom number goes in the front, the top number goes in the back. So I have two U minus nine, and then two U minus nine. They're identical, so our final answer, since they're the same, we're gonna go ahead and write this as 2u minus nine quantity squared. Of course, you can foil this back together to verify that you get back to the original. The main purpose of these extra examples today is noticing that these numbers are perfect squares if you don't notice that they're perfect squares, you're gonna do the big X method just like you've been doing. But if you notice, it's gonna save you a bunch of time in listing out your pairs.